In 2021, I commissioned a group of independent people to look at the future sustainability of church buildings in Norfolk and Waveney. We have so many church buildings here in the Diocese of Norwich, over 640 of them. 95% of them are listed. But every one of them is a treasure trove of community memory. Places where God's many miracles are daily experienced, where commitments are made, blessings sought, where prayers are answered and forgiveness and reconciliation discovered. Outside in their churchyards, they are places where biodiversity can often thrive. What is frequently not understood by the wider public is that these remarkable church buildings within our landscape are almost entirely funded by the generosity and kindness and time of local people. But in some places, that is under great stretch at this time. Places where these church buildings serve very small populations, often in rural areas. Their future sustainability is an ongoing concern. And there's no easy answer, of course. If there was one, it would have already been discovered. So the Church Buildings Commission were tasked to look at this future sustainability, to discover and recommend ways in which we can really enable our parish churches to thrive. And where they're struggling, what support can be given. So I hope that in the coming months, as the Bishop's Council of Trustees and myself look at the recommendations in detail and plan a way forward, you can be part of the conversation. That You can read the report that's available online. Consider which parts of it do you think would really support the flourishing of God's kingdom in the Diocese of Norwich through the flourishing of our church buildings? Because they are special. They're a significant part of our landscape and our inheritance of faith. So I commend this report to you, and I hope that you'll find it an interesting read.